Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina. Just wanted to give you a quick update of my stamp storage. Uh, you probably have seen my rails here before from Ikea in my craft room video. And these are all DVD CD storage cases or rails that I got from Ikea and they're very inexpensive. I don't want I want to say they're probably less than five dollars. And I had been storing all of my stamp sets on here in CD cases. And I was strictly using CD cases, but recently I started to as I get some of my bigger stamp sets, for example, I have up here um, my lawn fawn, and instead of taking the compact, you know, getting rid of completely the packaging, I so that I could put them in CD cases, I got these DVD ones. They're called extra large um, DVD cases. They're from a store called TapesOnline.com, and I'll put a link to these cases on my blog and over in the description of this video. And um, what I did was all of them before used to be sorted by company and I changed it now where they're alphabetical by the name of the stamp set so I have like lawn fun right here and the next one's gonna be paper tray ink and then a couple of other um, Allie Edwards so I started doing it that way and before I had all of the CD cases um, I took up a lot more room so now what I do is like for fillable frames which is a double uh, a fillable frames which is a series that paper tray ink did I put two stamp sets in one one case, so that saved me a lot of room. This thing, my rack here, was completely filled. I maybe had enough one section left. I ended up actually having now probably about seven or eight sections available now for more stamps. So everything in the top sections here are now done in um, alphabetical order by title of the stamp set. Down here at the bottom of my rails, I have like this section right here and right here are all. Um, stamps that I would cope with color with like the uh, Susan Custom Arts and Designs, CC Designs, and a couple of other stamp sets that I've had for a while that I don't didn't want to get rid of. And that section right over there, that are those are stamps that need to still be um, labeled on the sides. I use my label maker and I make the name or write out the name of the the title of the the stamp set. Then down in the bottom, I have just a couple stamps on the top there that needs to be put into CD cases. And then um, right there and there are my close to my heart stamps. And then right here are all stamps that I received from people that started designing stamps um, that I had showcased over on my blog for them. And um, so I also wanted to show you how I store some of my smaller stamps. So let me show you that. So on the side of my rails, what I did was is I took a binder ring. Um, and it just hooked it right onto the side of my rail. And then I took a clip it up um, ring, and that actually hooks right onto that ring so that if I needed to use any of my smaller stamp sets that I didn't want to take up the room on my racks with CD cases or DVD cases, I just hung them on the side. So, like, here are all my L Studios. And then down here are my Technique Tuesdays. Like, this is very small, and I thought it was, takes up a lot of space as a, you know, CD case or anything like that. So... I actually have a couple of them on here, and I have ones that are too big for DVD cases, so they're all hung with the bigger ring, the clip it up ring, and then rings to hold that, all those sets together. So if I'm crafting, all I have to do is just grab the ring, maybe. I just have to grab the ring and take it right over my desk, and then I can bring it back over and hang it right up on the side. So I did that with my L's, my L Studio, my Technique Tuesday, and then I also did it with some of my exclusive Studio Calico stamps, and then a couple of other stamp sets. So I just wanted to share with you my little stamp catalog that I made. If you had seen an old video, I had done an 85 by 11 version of this, but I like this ver version much better because it's smaller, and I can keep it right at my desk. And basically, what it is is it measures about four and a quarter by five and a half, so it's a um, kind of like a card size and what I did was is I took two pieces of chipboard covered it with pattern paper added my little embellishments and and um, some thin stickers that spelled out the word stamps added some eyelets to the top and then um, some binder rings so that I can keep adding pages to my little uh, catalog here and what I did was I cut out from silhouette a File. These are actually file folders, but I m played with the image a little bit and got rid of the fold section and cut it down to the size that I needed it. And it's mainly because I like the shape of the, the top of these. And then what I did was is I put all of my stamps. Um, I 
went to each of the websites that I ordered from, like Paper Tray Inc., and right-clicked on the image, like searched the stamp set, right-clicked on the image, and then just copy and pasted the image into a Word document, and I was able to get like four stamp sets on each page, and then I just cut them down to be the um, four and a quarter by five and a half inch size. And then I have those all separated alphabetical, just like I do on my rails. For my little tabs here, I just took um, a Lawn Fawn Herald's ABCs and just stamped out A on each side. So I have all of my stamps here, like this first one right here is the absolutely stamp set from uh, Simon Says Stamps. And then this is a paper or studio calico stamp set and alphabets. And then I wanted to show you even like things like my Technique Tuesdays that I have on the ring. I have it say Ring Technique Tuesday. So these are the stamps and I know where to go to look because I know they won't be in alphabetical order on my my wall there. And then eventually what I'm going to do is start making up a little category section for my book that has, like, this one is all about vacation and travel and stuff like that, and I thought I could make a little kind of sheet, you know, to say, okay, look at the stamp set for, you know, for vacation, travel, birthdays. Um, this is, like, the uh, background basics stamp set from Paper Tray Inc. So I just went through, like, I w and I wasn't even very careful, like, you can see this big gap on the top here. Um, I just did it really quick, so this is another one that's on the ring. Um, so I did that in alphabetical order all the way through so that I can um, just go ahead and when I'm sitting at my desk here, I could just flip through here and I can see all of my stamp sets. I don't know if you could see that, it's kind of dark. Um, but that's basically about the size of my, my album. Um, and then what I could do is just then go over to my rails and grab my stamps. So I just wanted to share with you quickly my little update. This is what I did during uh, Hurricane Sandy while we were waiting for it. Um, it gave me something to work on and well it didn't do it just during the hurricane. I had been working on it for a while so but I happened to be able to finish it up during the hurricane so it gave me something to work on. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a couple of ideas about storing your stamps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.